Expert, a photoelectric effect. Mathematics sheet here. And uh, this makes it a lot easier. You can see the incoming photon here, the ejected photoelectron here, and the photoemissive surface here. So what are the numbers we have? Well, let's just come up with stuff. Call it 12 electron volts coming in on the incoming photon. Photoemissive surface, what do we have here? Hey, call that two electron volts worth of energy is needed to break the bonds here. That's the work function. And the emitted photoelectron, you can see how much energy is that going to have? Well, that's going to have 10 electron volts worth of energy. All we have to do now, that's really the math. That's all there is to it. 12 EVs use up two for the work function. The emitted photoelectron has 10 electron volts left. That's all the math you have to do of substance. Everything else is just conversion. So let's convert this to joules. So we have 12 EVs times, well, one. One electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. All right? So 12 times 1.6 EE19 minus 1.9 times 10 to the minus 18. 1.9 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. And let's convert that right away using E equals H F. Let's convert that to a frequency. So E divided by H is going to equal F. So the energy is 1.9 times 10 to the minus 18 joules divided by Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds. The joules will cancel, leave us in reciprocal seconds, which is hertz. So we have the number already here divided by 6.63 EE 34 negative gives us 2.9 times 10 to the 15th hertz. 2.9 times 10 to the 15th hertz. Not so bad. So two EVs here. Let's convert that. Two EVs. We're multiplying by one times. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules is 1 EV. So 2 times 1. Make sure you can see that. 2 times 2 times 1.6 EE 19th negative equals. 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. 2 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And we want to convert that using the formula E equals HF. So we have the energy, which is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19th joules dividing by 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds. Again, that leaves us in hertz. So divided by 6.63 EE 34 negative gives us 4.8, 4.8 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Excellent. So if we recall, these two things represent the work function and this then is the threshold frequency great and the emitted photoelectron the only thing we need to do with that is convert that into joules because there would be no frequency with that so once again, 10 EVs times 1. Ten times 1.6 EE19 negative gives us 1.6 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. That is all there is to it. 
why don't we give you one to work on for yourself and give you the solution next time. Oh, anybody? Could, would anybody like to make up some numbers here? Um, Brooke, what do you say? Excellent. Six electron volts of energy. It uses, oh my goodness, Brooke, four, four electron volts of energy. How much is going to be left over? This is how the problem would start. Now, of course, I could give you any two quantities and you could figure everything else out. So please figure this all out for next time. I'll be impressed. Thank you very much.